Blue Jay Sport Review The Blue Jay Sport is an electric bike with a mid-drive motor and battery that support high speeds. It is comprehensive in its features but can be expensive when compared to similar models from Specialized. The Blue Jay Sport features a classic Royal Enfield motorcycle design with matte paint, luggage racks, and fenders. It has a weight of 54.8 pounds. The aluminum frame keeps the weight low of this bike which has a 672 watt-hours battery, 29-inch wheels with WTB Nano off-road tires, 500 watts Bafong M600 mid-drive motor, fenders, lights, and racks capable of carrying 55 pounds in the rear, and 22 pounds in the front. The bike is available in two sizes designed to fit a variety of riders, the smaller model fits those 5 feet 3 inches and up, and the larger model is suitable for those 5 feet 10 inches and up. It was also able to comfortably fit a 6 feet 3 inches rider with the seat at its highest position, and the handlebar stem angle can be easily adjusted for different heights. The bike uses a non-standard double triangle frame shape with an increased angle between the seat stays and chain stays, as well as a bent top tube for extra standover clearance. It has a special attachment point for the mid-drive motor, which replaces the usual bottom bracket. This setup offers better weight balance than e-bikes with large motors in the back wheel, and removal or replacement of the wheels is made easier due to them being regular quick release. Blue Jay has employed a shark-style battery pack that locks onto the frame and can be removed with a key for recharging. This bike has a maximalist design, featuring a color LCD screen that displays information such as trip distance, odometer, motor wattage, battery percentage, and speed. It also has a thumb switch for electronic control. The 10-speed Shimano Dior group set is equipped with a 42-tooth chainring. Blue Jay e-bikes are equipped with Tektra Vela hydraulic disc brakes featuring dual piston calipers that operate on either side of the disc. The seat and handlebars also feature a leather-like finish for a stylish look. The Blue Jay Sport is heavier than some other models, but its 500 watts mid-drive motor combined with the different gears allows it to travel up to 28 miles per hour while making a minimal effort. It's relatively easy to accelerate from a standstill, tackle hills or headwinds and maintain speed in comparison to rear hub e-bikes. Although less expensive, these do not provide the same ease of use that the Blue Jay Sport does. The Blue Jay model features a 10-speed sprocket and 5 levels of pedal assist. It is typically not necessary to use gears below the 6th gear, as even the first level of pedal assist can reach up to 18 miles per hour without shifting. When we changed gears, the Shimano Dior shifter was responsive. A major advantage of the Bafong motor with torque sensor is that it detects pressure from the foot and helps to power the e-bike, compared to cadence sensors. The motor on this setup has the potential to move freely from the cranks, resulting in no chain spinning when reverse pedaling. Additionally, the chain ring rotates for a brief period after we cease pedaling. The aluminum frame had slight flexibility when we pedaled with force, and the suppleness of the frame made for a relatively smooth ride. Despite having a saddlebag on the back with a 230 pounds load, the Blue Jay Sport did not feel burdened. We tested the bike on a 20 mile ride with mixed terrain. There was pavement, hills, mud, and slush, and we found the frame, handlebars, saddle, and wheels comfortable for most of it. The bike performed well throughout but got a bit uncomfortable toward the end. Overall, it met our expectations. The Blue Jay's selection of tires provided stability on uncertain terrain, allowing us to travel around 10 miles per hour through wet snow. Additionally, the fenders were successful in preventing spray from hitting our backs, though our lower limbs were still exposed. The integrated front and rear lights were helpful for our long ride past sunset and the Tektra hydraulic disc brakes allowed us to safely navigate traffic.